Hello and welcome to part 9, Group I of the Europa League. Um, this is again one of those groups where none of the five top leagues is present. So this is usually extra fun, although it's also a little bit tricky as we will see. Why am I wearing Sweden today? Well, it was really hard to find a jersey for, for the group. I originally wanted to wear Belgium because there's a Belgian team in there. Um, then I thought about black and white, as we'll see, Besiktas, but then, you know, the only black, white and shirts I have is from Lusk and Besiktas eliminated Lusk, so that's also not good. So, there's a Swedish team in there. That's why I'm wearing Sweden, not because I'm a fan. So, yeah. Let's get first to the team in this group is the aforementioned Besiktas, which for the home shirt, this is black and gray striped, and I was wondering, what uh, happened here? Besiktas black and white, I mean they are the Turkish black and white team. Why is it all black or black and grey? So I didn't get that. I didn't see that when last played in Istanbul because this was completely black out here in Austria. Seemingly Turkish TV stations wanted them too much money. So yeah, I really didn't see this kit and I don't like it. Honestly, this is a disappointing kit to me. Uh, I don't understand it. Um, I understand, you know, overall, if it was pure black, maybe I could understand more about black and gray. I really don't like this one. And then you have the white stripes on the side. So I'm gonna only give this... Well, the sponsor is within the colors, you know, it reflects the Turkish flag in there. So yeah, <laughs> still, it's the further disappointment four stars. I was thinking three, but it's too consistent for that. The away kit makes some sense, but again, it's a little bit, you know, it's again no stripes. It's white with a black collar and black sleeve cuffs. I like the sponsor is red. You know, the sponsor actually fits quite well with the whole thing. And yeah, looks better. I actually like the collar. Um, I'm missing the Adidas stripes, with which I guess are white here on the side. Or oh, not, nah, they are uh, top here. Oh, you know, they are basically the same color, so you don't really see them. And for that reason, yeah, I think this is a good one. Let's give this seven stars. And then the red jersey, the one that eliminated Lusk in the last minute. Really, I if they wouldn't have scored that one, if Lusk would have beaten Besiktas, I'm actually sure that Lusk would be in the Europa League now. I've said it before, I'm saying it again. Um, also makes sense. Overall, it is, of course, another one of the nice Adidas template with the squares all over. Uh, but you don't see it that much here. It's bright red with black, uh, white sponsor. Makes overall sense uh, for everything. Even the stars are black here. But is it great? No. Is it exciting? Not really. Um, but it's better than a home jersey, so I give this five stars. Now the next team that we have here is Henk. Um, they are also becoming regulars in the Europa League and more. Um, they play in a blue kit that is with the Nike template 16 or 17. Looking at the stripe, it's probably in the 16 template, so yeah. Um, doesn't look super exciting, it has the button opening no no there is it's just a taping down here it's not even a button there uh, other than that quite plain um but not in a bad way i have to say i actually like the sponsor the the red of the o adds a little something uh it's not a bad shirt honestly um i'm gonna give this six stars the um away jersey is black which you know how i th think about black is the same in black and you can see maybe even more the pattern, sort of a semi-camouflage pattern on there. But you know, uh, if you have a blue jersey, you have a black away jersey, that doesn't like make much sense to me. Uh, for that reason, although it's pretty much the same, same shirt, I'm gonna give this five stars. And then we have the third jersey, which is a little bit more innovative, but with gold, why do we have gold on there? And you know, suddenly purple is popping up. Uh, it's a little bit color-wise, Crazy, but I have not seen this Nike template this season at least. So yeah, this is interesting. It looks more like a Puma shirt, to be honest to me, to you. Uh, but I also want to give this only five stars. It's not bad per se, but a little bit 
not quite right as well. Now the reason why I'm wearing the Sweden shirt, Malmö FF, um, actually I feel a little bit not quite right because of the Swedish teams, Malmö FF not only caused some pain to the Austrian league by eliminating twice Salzburg, but I always found them a little bit of a dirty team. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. It's of course Ibrahimovic's first team, for that we have to give them kudos. Um, but I, I wasn't impressed by their performances. Uh, when they were twice in the Champions League. Uh, not that I minded them beating Salzburg. Again, I don't like Salzburg, although it was a little bit painful because that was the opponent you thought twice they should get over the hump. But Salzburg never gets over the hump, so that's funny. But I was not particularly impressed by the, play, the way they were playing, uh, my personal opinion. But I'm not an insider in the Swedish League. What I saw, the Malmö shirt is of course light blue. Um, which was a little bit surprising because if I look at the crest, it's a little darker blue and white. But I think overall looks nice. Even the VW <laughs> sponsor fits in nicely there. Uh, also, the Puma cat is a light blue and doesn't stick out so much. It's a nice touch. Um, it's also, I think, not the most recent template. It's a little bit of an older template, I have the feeling. But overall looks okay. Um, I think I'm gonna give this even six stars. Ah, seven stars, seven stars. Let's give it seven stars. Uh, the away jersey is of course black, which light blue and black makes a lot more sense. And also, yeah, nothing too extraordinary, but also not uh, bad. So let's give this one the six stars. And then the last one that we have is Sarpsborg. Uh, from Norway, just a little bit uh, southeast of Oslo, if I'm not completely mistaken. And uh, I think the team wear is made by Select, but I'm not 100% sure, I think, but that's the um, supplier. Very unusual shirt. I mean, of course, lots of uh, sponsors, again, small team. Uh, but you cannot really make them out. The big feature is, of course, the center strap, which is almost Paris Saint-Germain, like with the little uh, small straps. Leverkusen has a similar shirt, but for the inner part, they use um, red. So it makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. And of course, because of the um, sponsor, it's not going all the way up. And also that sponsor, it's a little bit of a mess, honestly. Um, this doesn't look Europa League. This actually looks a little bit more like a jersey that I would see in the second Austrian League or even lower. Um, nothing great there. I think it's just a four star. And their away jersey is, yeah, very similar. We cannot, I've looked at this is the best picture I could find so far. Uh, it is neon yellow, neon green with a black stripe. Um, and again, the big sponsor. Nothing really exciting again, but okay, they made it. I'm also gonna give this four stars. Um, as I said, it doesn't look Europa League in any way for that reason. Four stars, I always feel a little, a little bit bad if I uh, downgrade lower teams like I did do the launch, but there's a certain aesthetic that comes with these shirts that just don't look as, I would say clean in a way. I don't mind the different sponsor, I think, uh, the sp uh, supplier, but you usually come with crazy stuff that unfortunately then the big names take as well. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Um, if you agree or disagree with me, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.